My name is Özgür Ekşi. I'm the founder of Turdev, and we are here at the Navantia Shipyards uh, booth at Ida. Could you tell us uh, for Navantia, uh, what could you say about the uh, multi-purpose amphibious uh, vessel that Turkey is producing, and the Navantia is the subcontractor for the project, the, the TCG Anadolu? Yes, well, Navantia has provided the design for the TCG Anadolu as well as some other systems. Uh, this is a spectacular vessel with high capabilities that I can perform in very different scenarios. It's not only an aircraft carrier or helicopter landing dog, but also amphibious capabilities uh, and also for humanitarian purposes. It's impressive with our partner SEDEF is doing with the construction, being the first unit they're building. Uh, the program is going quite well, it's going quite uh, uh, under the planning, and we expect it to be delivered to the Navy very soon. If not within this year, in the early stages of next year, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have been in talks of that second LHD has been on the table for a long time already. We hope that once that the Navy, uh, when the vessel is sailing and the Navy sees performing in real operations, the interest for the second one will be triggered and we could be announced the signature of the second one, which will be an excellent asset for the Turkish uh, population very soon. I cannot give you a sad that, but very soon. What is Navantia's expectation in case the second uh, tender, the second uh, vessel is on the agenda? What, what Navantia wants to do? Well, Navantia's expectation is not only focused on the second vessel. We have been here for quite a long time and we have seen the capabilities of the defense industry, Turkish defense industry. We would like to include in our uh, portfolio, we would like to include uh, many of those systems to offer to our clients, the user, the possibility to include systems from many different Turkish companies. Uh, at the same time, we are a company that we have been building, uh, designing and building anti-air warfare frigates like the 2 2000 for the last 20 years plus. We have long experience of that. So if it's the case, we think that we could pay, pay an important role, providing technical assistance, cooperation at the design, maybe do a, uh, maybe do a, a, a joint program for the TF-2000. Then again, with the submarines, it's a good question. You mentioned before, sorry, jump on the no, submarines. No it's a good question. Recently, we have launched our S-80 plus submarine, uh, third technology AP system submarine that is very similar to your new type of submarine program. And then again, same thing as the TF-2000. Should be the case that the Turkish industry uh, wants to do a, a co-production uh, program or wants to get some kind of um, uh, advice about that program, we are willing to help on that. So we think that Navantia role in Turkey is not only focused on the LHD or second LHD, but in the yeah, most, the in other programs uh, and therefore for many years to come. And as I said, with the capabilities of your defense industry, we think the relationship between Navantia and the Turkish defense industry will be for a very long, long time, even far beyond the second LHD, the TF-2000 on the S-80, or the, sorry, the new type of submarines. So uh, do you think there will be no uh, military problem, no naval problem for uh, between Turkey and Spain for no, cooperation. Uh, Turkey, Turkey and Spain have really good relationships. We have seen all over the years. Uh, we uh, every time that Spain has needed some aid from Turkey, we have received it, and we saw the COVID and hit us very strongly last year. Then again, Spain recently with some natural disasters that happened in Turkey, we provide help. So the, both countries have really good understanding and cooperation. We have both NATO countries, so I don't expect to have any problem on that. Even then, we think that probably in the next, in the years to come, our lessons will get better and better. Okay. Thank you very much for your answers. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.